Hello everyone! Today we are going to open up the very first Global Series Dual Decks. Yes, the old Dual Decks have been discontinued. And in place of that they decided to make these. The Global Series. Starting with uh, China uh, being the first. With two Chinese Planeswalkers. Jiang Jiang Yu, Jiang Gu and Mu Yan Ling. Right, let's uh, take a look. We get two decks, two foil planeswalkers, um, just like the old dual decks. I really wonder what else is in here. Of course, two decks. Right. So, what is this? <coughs> let's see. Mu Yanling about the global series and Jiang Yang Gu. Magic the Gathering is played all around the world. While that usually means we translate the stories and cards we create here in the United States into many other languages, we decided to do something different this time. We brought together a team of Chinese artists, writers and folklorists to craft a brand new branch of magic story rooted in Chinese aesthetics and mythology culminating in these two decks. And although they were originally designed for release only in China, we made a few available in English to share Mu Yanling and Jiang Yanggu's stories and the cards and art they inspired with you. All right, so that doesn't really uh, answer the question. Will there be other nationalities in the future? I guess there might be. Right. Let's open these two up. Let's take a look at what the cards themselves do. Starting with uh, Jiang Yanggu. He is a 5 mana planeswalker green uh, with 4 loyalty. Uh, his plus 1 ability target creature gets plus 2, plus 2 until end of turn. Minus 1. If you don't control a creature named Mowu, which is this cute little doggy over here. And look, the, the token is foil. Oh, lovely. Um, then create a legendary 3-3 green hound creature token named Mobu. Yes, and minus 5 until end of turn. Target creature gains trample and gets plus X plus X. Where X is the number of lands you control. So that is the green one. And then Mu Yanling is a blue planeswalker. For 6 mana we get her at 5 loyalty. Plus two, target creature get uh, can't be blocked this turn. Minus three, draw two cards. Minus ten, tap all creatures your opponents control. You take an extra turn after this one. Wow. Okay, that's a, that's a little bit silly, isn't it? Oh, there we go. Now uh, let's start off with uh, Jiang Yanggu. His deck. And starting on top is the token. The Mobu token, legendary hound, 3-3. Three, three. And look, it is double-sided. Oh my, so we get two different arts for Mobu. That is pretty nice. Although I like this one better. Well, well. All right, so let's take a look at what's in here. A lot of cards are new, but there are some reprints as well. And I believe all of them have a new art. So let's take a look. Starting off with Screeching Phoenix. For 6 mana we get a 4-4 flying. Uh, that pumps itself up for uh, 3. Oh wait, creatures you control. Oh, it pumps up all the creatures for 3. Plus 1, plus 0. Journey for the Elixir. For 3 we get a sorcery, search your library and graveyard for a basic land card. And a card named Jiang Yanggu. Reveal them, put them into your hands, then shuffle your library. Get him two times. Sacred White Deer for two. Uh, it's a 2-2 creature uh, with uh, ability four and tap. You gain four life. Activate this ability only if you control a Yanggu Planeswalker. Three times that one. Timber Grove. Uh, uh, sorry, Timber Gorge. Forest. Confidence with Strength uh, for three. Target creature gets plus 4, plus 4, and gains trample until end of turn. 
mountain. Reckless Pangolin. For three, we get a 2-2. And when it attacks, it gets plus one, plus one. I really like these forests. Look at that bamboo forest. Oh, beautiful. Hardened skill armor. For three, uh, we get an aura that gets uh, another creature. Plus three, plus three. Feiji snake. For two. Uh, two, one with reach. Aggressive instinct. For two. Target creature you control deals damage equal to its power to target creature you don't control. Earth Shaking Sea. Uh, for six mana, five, five trample. Nothing special there. Ooh, that's a beautiful one. For five mana, we get a three, three flying. The Fire Omen Crane. Uh, whenever Fire Omen Crane attacks, it deals one damage to target creature an opponent controls. Breath of Fire for two. Deals two damage to target creature. Eh. Giant Spider for four. Two for reach. This is, uh, of course, a reprint. Ooh, nice. For five mana, we get a Cleansing Screech, which deals uh, four damage to any target. All right. Uh, ferocious Zing. For four mana, we get a 4-4. Four, four. Nothing special there. Uh, Leopard Spotted Jiao for two is a 3-1. And that's it for the green red deck, Jiang Yang Gu. Well, it, I don't know. It's, it doesn't seem very strong, but then again, these are just uh, basic decks. Now let's go over uh, Mu Yan Ling's deck. Starting off with the Ancestral Dragon. Ancestral Dragon. For 6 mana we get a 5-6 flying. And whenever one or more creatures you control attack, you gain 1 life for each attacking creature. That can prove to be pretty nasty in token decks. Uh, Rhythmic Water Vortex for 5. Uh, sorcery. Return up to 2 target creatures to their owner's hand. Search your library and or graveyard for a card named Mu Yanling. Reveal it, put it into your hand. And then shuffle times 2. The Moon Eating Dog. For 4 we get a 3-3 creature. And as long as you control a Yanling Planeswalker, Moon Eating Dog has flying. Get 3 of those. Meandering River. Uh, islands, plains, Earth Origin Yak. For 4 mana, a 2 4. Uh, when Earth Origin Yak enters the battlefield, creatures you control get plus 1 plus 1 to end of turn. Brilliant Plan. Ooh, beautiful art. For 5 mana, three, uh, pff, draw 3 cards. The Killing's Blessing. For 1, target creature gets plus 2 plus 2 until end of turn. Welking Turn. For 2, a 2-1 two, flying. Uh, Welking Turn can block only creatures with flying. It's a reprint as well, I believe. Cloak of Mists. Oh, this is, uh, is this a reprint as well. I believe so. For 2 mana, we get an Aura. Uh, Enchanted Creature can be blocked. The Heavenly Kilin. Which is actually a Kirin. But, yeah. Pronounced differently, perhaps. For 3 mana, we get a 2-2 two, two flying. Whenever Heavenly Kilin Attacks another target creature you control gains flying until end of turn. The dragon's presence for three mana, uh, it deals five damage to an attacking or blocking creature. The purple crystal crab for two, get a one one, and when it dies, draw a card. Storm cloud spirit for uh, five mana, we get a four four flying, basically uh, the air elemental. The colorful Feiji Sparrow. Look at that. Oh, I love this art. So colorful, so nice. Uh, for two mana, we get a 1 3 flying. Ah, the Vivid Flying Fish. Heh, <laughs> funny. For two mana, a 1 1. And it has flying as long as it's attacking. All right. Armored World Turtle. For three mana, we get a 0 5. Drown in Shapelessness for two. An instant. Return target creature to its owner's hand. The Nine-Tail White Fox. 
For 3 mana we get a 2-2. Whenever it deals combat damage to a player, draw a card. Well, and there you have it. That's the deck for Mu Yanling. All in all, I uh, think the decks aren't that overpowered. But the theme in the cards, oh, I love it. I really do love it. And the art, beautiful. I like this. I uh, I really hope that they will make more of these global series. <coughs> if someone's watching from Wizard of the Coast, please make a Dutch-themed deck. Ooh, that would be fun. Well, anyway, um, yeah, that's it for today. Thank you all for watching, and I hope you enjoyed it. And uh, just take another look at this one. Oh, I love it. Well, see you all next time. Bye-bye.